गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर वन नोइंग आवर नंबर इन दिस चैप्टर्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रोमन न्यूमरल्स इन रोमन न्यूमरल्स दिस इज यू कैन से दिस इज रोमन सिस्टम्स देयर आर ओनली सेवन सिंबल्स दिस सिंबल्स एलॉन्ग विथ देयर कस्पॉन्डिंग वैल्यूज इन इंडियन सिस्टम्स or uh, you can see we write here on the boards and uh, this is i symbol i the value of i is 1 this symbol b you can see this value is 5 x symbol x value 10 this is l and the value of l is 50 and this is c the value of c is 100 this is d 500 and this is m a uh, thousands okay so in roman numerals there is no symbol for zero there is no symbol for zero okay uh, so use this symbols uh, we can write any numbers in roman numerals by, by the following uh, certain basic rules uh, which are we explain here going to explain here first rule is that if a symbol is repeated Uh, its value is added as many times uh, as it occurs. If any symbol is repeated, suppose we write here x, x. Then the x is two times. It means that the value of uh, x is added two times. The value of x is here ten. So we write here ten plus ten two times. This is equal to twenty. Okay. So you can say the value of x. x is equal to twenty r x x three times x. It means that this is equal to ten plus ten plus ten three times. Or you can say the value of x x x is equal to thirty. Clear? Uh, if you uh, repeat the value of i, so one i. 2i. This is 3i. This is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1. Or you can say this is equal to 3. Here, 3i is at 3. Okay. Only i, the value symbol i, x, uh, c, and m can be repeated. Okay. And uh, symbol v, l, and d are never repeated. Only i, x. C and M can be repeated. Which uh, symbols I, X, C, and M can be repeated, and V, uh, L, D is never repeated. Okay. Uh, so if we repeat C two times, C, C, it means that hundred plus hundred. The value of C hundred. Okay. If two C, so C hundred plus hundred. Okay. Then you can see. 2c is equal to 200. Okay, and 3c is equal to 100. Here 3c, c c c. It means that 100 plus 100 plus 100. This is equal to uh, 300. Okay, and this is the first rule. Uh, what is the first rule? First rule is that if a symbol is repeated, its value is added as many times it's a As it occurs, so how many times here? Repeated three times, so his value is added three times. Hundred plus hundred plus hundred plus hundred, three times. This is equal to three uh, hundreds. How many sim? Uh, which symbols are only repeated? I, X, C, and M. I, X, C, and M. This symbol is only repeated, and uh, V, L, D. Symbol V L D never repeated. Okay, so repeated symbol is I X C M. This is repeated symbols, and then uh, not repeated symbol is V L D. This symbol is never repeated. Okay, and uh, if uh, M is repeated two times M, you can write what is the value of M. The value of symbol M is equal to a thousand. 
So here we write two times m. So this is equal to uh, thousand plus thousand. This is equal to two thousand. Clear? If you can write the three times m, 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 m three times. So we can write here thousand uh, one times plus two times thousand plus three times a thousand. Because here you can see the m repeated three times. M M M. So the value of m is the value of symbol m is thousand plus thousand plus thousand. This is equal to three thousand. You can write here three thousand. Okay, and this is a symbol. Uh, this is rule one. When the value the symbol is repeated, okay, and the uh, sim any symbol can repeat only maximum three times, okay. Any symbol that repeat only three times, okay. So here I have all of understood how to uh, find the value of repeated symbol. If the any symbols is repeated, then we add that symbol. Uh, how many times? Here three times you can see x x x. So we add the symbol of x is ten. So ten plus ten plus ten three times. This is equal to thirty. X x x. This is equal to twenty. X x x. This is equal to thirty. Okay. So student, I hope all of understood the first rules of Roman numerals. Okay. So now we are going to discuss uh, second rules. Of this numbers, uh, also you can write uh, this m m m m r. You can see here like this. You can write like this x x x plus x. This is equal to ten plus ten. This is equal to twenty. As in the uh, simply, you can write x x. This is equal to twenty. Clear? As c as c c is is equal to You can write C plus C plus C, or you can say this is equal to hundred plus hundred uh, plus hundred. This is equal to three hundred. Or simply, you can write uh, C C C. This is equal to three hundred. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred. Okay. Next. What is the next two? Of the Roman numerals. Uh, next rules of the Roman numerals uh, is that if a symbol of smaller values is written to right side, uh, if a symbol of smaller value is written to right of a symbol of greater values, then its value is added to the value of greater symbols. Okay, uh, so I repeat these uh, rules again. Uh, if a symbol of smaller value is written to to the right of A symbol of greater value, then its value gets added to the value of greater symbols. So here you can see, you can some examples. V I, okay. So here the V I, okay. The value of symbol I is one, and the value of symbol V is five, okay. So it means that the value of symbol I is Written to right of the value of symbol V, the symbol V is greater than uh, the symbol I. The value of symbol V is greater than the value of symbol I. Here you can see uh, I as a smaller value. This is written to right the greater value. Okay, so his value is added to them. So value of V is five, and the value of one is one. So this is equal to uh, six. Okay. Next example, you can see here uh, x v. Okay. Also, you can see the symbol v. The value of symbol v is the smaller than the value of symbol x. Okay. And uh, this is also written the right to x. Uh, so value of v added to the value of x. And you can see the value of x is ten plus the value of v five. This is equal to fifty. Okay. Similarly, you can take some more example like this x b i i. Okay, so you can see here this i is smaller value uh, in the comparison of x uh, v, and the value of v is also smaller to comparison comparison of 
uh, x it means that the value of x is 10 and plus the value of v is 5 and the value of i 1 plus 1 this is equal to uh, 17 clear so this rule and this rules uh, just told us and uh, that if a symbol of smaller value is written to write the symbol of greater value here you can see this is symbol of smaller value okay this is right uh, written to write a greater value symbol of greater value is v this is smaller value is c then we add them and here as you can see here should be the uh, symbol of smaller value is v here and here is the symbol of greater value and the v is written to write uh, to x then the value of x and v are uh, 8 together ok so then this is a symbol of x plus 5 this is a symbol of v and 1 i i i this is value of i is 1 plus 1 in this way you find 17 ok now much more example you can take here uh, m d l i ok so here you can say the symbol i is the smaller value uh, at, uh, compared to l ok and l is smaller compared to d because the value of d is 500 symbol the symbol d value of symbol d is 500 and the value of symbol i uh, l is 50 so l is the right to d and uh, d is smaller value uh, it, it is written to right of m m is the greater value uh, the, with respect to d okay uh, so d is written in right side so we add their value okay uh, so here the value of m is 1000 plus the value of d is uh, 500 plus the value of l is 50 value of 1 is 1 okay so what uh, if you sum them then you obtain 1551 1551 ok in this uh, rules ok if the symbol of a smaller value is written to write of a symbol of greater value then its value get add to the value of greater symbols ok it means that all smaller value if write to the greater value ok and then the smaller value value of smaller symbol is add to the value of greater symbols ok the value of greater symbol symbol is m and d is smaller it is also write the right then we add them 1000 plus 500 plus 50 plus 1 this is equal to 50 ones ok now uh, we again another examples d l d l x x l uh, x x uh, v i ok so here you can see this is a smaller value respect to v and the v is the smaller value the symbol x with respect to symbol x and this is a 3 uh, x is repeated so we can write the value of x plus x plus x 3 times and here x is the smaller uh, value x is the smaller value and the return to write to l is greater value and here you can see l is the smaller value uh, uh, with respect to d and also l is written uh, to write of d then their value will be 8 ok so value of d 500 then write and the value of l is 50 ok and the value of 3x x plus x plus x at 3x is equal to 30 and v i v is 5 i is 1 ok so in this way if you sum this 550 500 plus 50 plus 30 plus 5 plus 1 this is equal to 586 this is equal to 586 so then I hope all have understood these questions now uh, one more examples 
uh, we want to take here and then discuss MDLI. MDLI here you can see a uh, value of m is thousand and d is smaller than m value of d is smaller than the value of m also value of l is this smaller than the value of d and i is also smaller than the symbol l so we write uh, the value of all symbols and add them then you obtain 1551 and here also you can see here dl x x x vi this is a decreasing order okay you can see decreasing order in decreasing order we can add the all values okay 500 plus 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1 in this way you have to 586 now we are going to discuss uh, rule 3 rule 3 is that if a symbol of smaller value if a symbol of smaller value is written to the left of a symbol of greater value in rule 2 the symbol of smaller value is written uh, to write the symbol of greater value then we add them but here case is different what is the case here if the symbol of smaller value uh, is written to left the symbol of greater value not right this written is a left okay if a symbol of a smaller value is written to the left of a symbol of greater value okay then its value is get subtract from the symbol of greater value uh, for example, so you can see like this ix. So, according to these rules, the symbol of smaller value is written to left the symbol of greater value. Here you can see the symbol of smaller value. This is i, the value of i is 1, and this is the x, the value of x is 10. So in this way you can say i is the smaller value and 10 is the greater value. Okay. Uh, so here the symbol of smaller value is written to left uh, the symbol of greater value. Then it is uh, its value gets subtracted. But the smaller value is means its smaller value is gets subtracted from the greater value. Okay. So you can write here this is greater value is 10. The symbol of greater value is 10 uh, 10 as uh, 10 the symbol of this greater value is 10 and the symbol of small value is 1 so 1 is subtracted from 10 10 ok so you can see 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 so you can this, this implies that ix ix is equal to 9 so I simply you can write this iv so here you can see the symbol of small value is written in the left of the symbol of greater value then the symbol of smaller value is separated from the symbol of greater value. So here the symbol of greater value is 5 and the symbol of small value is 1. So this is separated, 1 is separated from four, uh, 5, then we obtain uh, 4. So you can write IV represent 4, but IX represent 9, IV represent uh, 4. Okay. Uh, I can subtract only. Uh, this value v value and x value only i can subtract only uh, i can subtract from v and x only and uh, x is subtract from l and c okay if you can write here x here okay so here you can see the symbol of smaller value is written to left the symbol of greater value symbol of greater value is l and symbol of uh, smaller value is x x is written to left of l then the value of x is separated from the value of l okay so it means that you can write here uh, 50 minus 10 so this is equal to 40 or you can say x l means 40 clear and uh, you can write also x c what is x c x is you can see here the symbol of uh, smaller value is written uh, to the left of the symbol of greater value then its value gets subtracted from the symbol of greater value so here you can see x is the symbol of smaller value and uh, c is the symbol of greater value so the value of x is subtracted from the value of c because c is the greater value and x is the smaller value and x is written 
to the left. Okay. So the value of C is hundred minus the value of the C is ten. The so this is equal to hundred minus ten is equal to ninety. And this implies that we can write the x minus C. X C is equal to ninety. I x is equal to nine. I b is equal to four. X L is equal to forty. And I x C is equal to nine. Okay. Uh, so yes, uh, can be subtracted from L and C. L means the value of L is fifty. Uh, so x only subtracted from L and C. Okay. Or you can say x only right the uh, return to the left of the symbol x and uh, C. Clear. Now we take uh, some more example related to these rules. And this rule is that if a symbol of smaller value is written to left of a symbol of greater value, then its value gets subtracted from the symbol of greater value. So we take some more examples related to uh, these rules. Uh, you can write CD. What is CD? CD. Here you can see the symbol of smaller value is written to left the symbol of greater value. Symbol of smaller value is C. And the symbol of greater value is D. So, so you can see here C is written to left to the greater value of D. It means that the value of symbol of smaller value is subtracted from the symbol of greater value. So here the symbol of smaller value is 100, and the symbol of greater value is uh, 500. So we can subtract 100 from 500. Then we can write here 500 minus 100. This is equal to 400. So student, I can, uh, I hope all of you understood these questions. Also, we can write uh, CM. What is CM? Here, you can see the symbol of smaller value is written, the symbol of greater value. Symbol of smaller value is written uh, to the left of symbol of greater value. Then, the symbol of smaller value is subtracted from the symbol of greater value. Uh, so here, the symbol of greater value is 1000. And the symbol of small value is 100. So symbol of small value is subtracted from the symbol of greater value. 1000 minus 100. This is equal to 900. Okay. Uh, so student, I hope all of you understood this uh, rules uh, also. Uh, I revise. Uh, the, this rule is that a symbol of small value is written to the left uh, of a symbol of greater value then its value gets separated from the symbol of greater value. So you can see here, this is much more examples we take. Uh, CD, this, uh, C, the symbol of smaller value is C, and the symbol of greater value is D, and the C is written to the left of D, because uh, you can see here, the C is written to the left of D, it means that we subtract the value of C, symbol of C, from the symbol of D. Or you can see, uh, you can say, the you can subtract the symbol of smaller value uh, to the symbol of greatest greater value. So 500 minus 100 is equal to 400. Okay, similarly, uh, CM, CM means this is symbol of smaller value with respect to M. C is less than the symbol of smaller value C and the symbol of greater value is M. C is written to left side of M, then the value of C is separated from the value of M. So value of m is 1000 and the value of c is 100 uh, so we have 10 900 it means that cm is equal to 900 and the cd is equal to cd is equal to here yeah, 400 okay now the next rule and this this rule is very important if a symbol of a smaller value is written between two symbol of greater value. If a symbol of smaller value is written between symbol of two greater value, then its value is always subtracted. If symbol of smaller value is written the symbol of two greater value, then its means symbol of smaller value is subtracted from the symbol of greater value, uh, which comes immediately after the symbol of smaller value. It means that write up smaller value. Okay, again, uh, listen these rules. 
if symbol of small value is written between the symbol of two greater value then its value is always subtracted from a symbol of greater value which comes immediately after the symbol of small value okay so let's some examples then you can understood and then i hope all of you will uh, remember this value symbols so no need for here uh, so you can erase it so today we are going to discuss we are know how what is the roman numbers and how we can write this how you can add, uh, use this okay this is rule number 4 what is the rule number 4 again i want to uh, explain it the symbol of smaller value is written uh, between and uh, the symbol of two greater values then its value is always separated from a symbol of greater um, value which comes immediately after the symbol of smaller value okay so let's see one example this is a x i x here you can see the symbol of smaller value i is the symbol of smaller value this is written between the uh, two symbol of greater values okay so symbol of smaller value is separated from which num which uh, numbers which numbers comes immediately comes after the symbol of smaller value okay uh, we subtracted the symbol of uh, always sub, uh, then it subtracted uh, then its value is subtracted from a symbol of greater value which comes immediately after the symbol of smaller value okay uh, so symbol of smaller value is this i and after uh, this comes this is the symbol of greater value so you can write this and this is a 10 x is 10 and plus and this is 5 so value of i symbol of i value of symbol i is subtracted from the this value of symbol v because this comes after i okay so you all have understood this question and you can write it and this is 10 plus 4 is equal to 4 10 now we are going to take a, a, another examples Uh, C L C L I X. Okay, so here you can see uh, between L and X, this is I. The value of small, the symbol of small value comes to the uh, symbol of to greater values. Then this value is sub uh, subtracted from the right side of greater value. You can see. So you can write here. This is the right. Here is right from right side uh, from uh, to I. Okay, so C is hundred, L is fifty, and the value of I is subtracted from this X, so plus X is ten minus one. Okay, so you can write here hundred plus fifty. This is a one hundred fifty, and the plus nine. Ten minus one is nine. This is equal to one hundred fifty nine. Okay, so sit down. I hope all of you understood these questions. Okay, now. We take one more examples related to these rules. M M D X L I. M M D X L I. So you can see here X. It is smaller value. It is written in the symbol of two greater value. D and L is greater than X. So the value of X is subtracted from the value of L because L is comes from Right side of the C X. Okay, so we can write y m m thousand y m is thousand plus a uh, thousand uh, and uh, d five hundred clear and uh, plus x l means fifty minus ten. Okay, this is x l x l this is x l fifty minus ten uh, plus one i means one. So two thousand five hundred forty one. Two thousand five hundred forty one. So two thousand five hundred forty one. Okay. Here we have D X L I means two thousand five hundred forty one. Okay. Uh, so last rules of this uh, Roman numerals is that if a bar is placed over a symbol, if a bar is placed over a symbol then its value gets multiplied by 10000 sorry its value get multiplied by thousands okay so let's see again 
listen this rule number 5 if uh, a bar is placed over a symbol if a bar is placed over a, a symbol then its value gets multiplied by 1000 so for example you can see here Here this is x, bar is placed over the x, it means that the value of the x is multiplied by 1000 times. It means that 10 into 1000. This is equal to 10,000. Clear? If bar is placed over a symbol, if a bar is placed over a symbol, then its value gets multiplied by thousand side times okay suppose here this is v the symbol of v is 5 if a bar is placed over the symbol it means that this numbers is multiplied by thousand times what this is equal to 5000 clear uh, and uh, you can take this is m the value of m is thousand if you place any bar one bar over this symbol then this is equal to the value of uh, m multiplied by thousand times so this is equal to 10 bar ok this is equal to uh, 10 bar so student I hope all of you understood uh, Roman numerals ok and uh, I think enough for today thank you for watching Jai Hind